Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. After a bit of a delay from the Royal Mint, the 2023 annual coin sets are now with us and we can take a first look at some of the new coins we can expect throughout 2023. The set includes a £5 coin to celebrate the 75th birthday of King Charles III. It was designed by Dan Thorne, who had previously designed a 2022 Britannia. The coin shows the St Edward's crown, sometimes called the coronation crown, over the cipher of King Charles III. You can also see delphiniums dominating the face of the coin. These are the king's favourite flowers and with the inclusion of a bee as well, they are a nod to his love of nature and his life of work in raising awareness for climate change and environmental work. To the bottom of the design is the number 25 and also the year of his birth and 2023, the year of his 75th birthday and the year this coin was minted for. This isn't the first time one of his birthdays has been celebrated on our coins though. We see the first of his birthdays marked on our coins. Again, this is a five pound coin and was minted 25 years ago to mark his 50th birthday. Then Prince Charles, he founded the Prince's Trust, which works with young individuals to offer a range of training, experience and work. And it's celebrated on this coin. In 2008, when the then Prince Charles turned 60, we saw another commemorative £5 coin. It's really interesting to look back and see this portrait of him. Now that he's king, his portrait is set to appear on the obverse or head side of all of our coins throughout his reign. To the bottom of the coin, you can see the words Ich Dien, which was adopted as the motto of the Prince of Wales and means I serve. The most recent birthday coin for him was in 2018 when he turned 70 years old. We see another portrait of the now king. It's an image which is very reminiscent to the one which now appears on the obverse of our coins barring perhaps the five years worth of aging. We also have the J.R.R. Tolkien two pound coin. This coin sees the famed author's moniker as the central design to the coin. This is surrounded by runic symbols, a nod to his epic literary work, The Lord of the Rings. This coin has been produced to mark the 50th anniversary of the author's death, and it has an edge inscription, wording around the edge of the two pound coin, which on this one reads as, not all those who wander are lost. A quote taken from the poem, all that is gold does not glitter, which again he also wrote. The coin was designed by David Lawrence, someone who has previously designed a number of coins for the Royal Mint, including a whole range of coins for the First World War centenary £5 coin sets. J.R.R. Tolkien now joins other literary figures on our coins, such as Charles Dickens, Agatha Christie, H.G. Wells and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle to name a few who have had coins minted in their honour. The other £2 coin included in this set was this one. It was created by John Bergdahl, one of the most prolific modern coin designers who regularly works with the Royal Mint. His designs have graced many of our coins, covering multiple denominations, coins for circulation and those for collectors too. This coin celebrates the centenary of the Flying Scotsman, a revolutionary train which is the oldest serving locomotive still in use. Again, there is an edge inscription on this coin, which much like all other two pound coins is unique to this design, and it reads, live for the journey. All the coins in this set will have their own individual releases throughout the year, and this one has just come out. This also highlighted something really special about this coin. As you can see, the coin in the silver proof annual set comes without color, whereas the varying releases for its own individual launch sees the silver proof feature color elements, not something that has happened all that often on a two pound coin. It also means that so far, the only way to get this coin in silver proof without colour on it was by buying the silver proof annual coin set, which could make this a rather tricky variant of the coin to get your hands on. Moving on, we have the first 50p coin from this set, and it was designed by Volder Jackson to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Windrush generation. We can see a couple stood before the Union flag with the number 75 to the left of the design. Interestingly, the designer, Vorder Jackson's parents, came to work in Britain as part of the Windrush generation. 
The Windrush generation were people who relocated to Britain from their homes across the Commonwealth after the Second World War. They have played a key role in shaping our culture and diverse country which we enjoy living in today. The name Windrush was taken from the HMT Empire Windrush, a transport ship which brought the first people to Britain from Jamaica. What is also very exciting about this coin is that it's the only one that we know of so far which has been earmarked to go into circulation. This was on the suggestion of the Windrush Commemoration Committee, so if all goes to plan, this is one that you'll be able to find in your change sometime this year. It isn't guaranteed though, as the Alan Turing 50p in 2022 was also earmarked to be minted for circulation, but the death of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and the production of a memorial 50p for circulation may have filled the desired needs for circulating 50p coins. That's also not to say that any of the other coins in this set won't go into circulation. I'm sure many of us have our fingers crossed that all go into circulation. The final coin in this set is another 50 pence coin. This one to mark the 75th anniversary of the National Health Service or NHS. The coin is the work of Alice Ledyard, who similar to Vulda Jackson hadn't designed artwork for a UK coin before. She chose to make use of words that represent the NHS across the design and stretching past the canvas of the coin to signify the ongoing work this great institution provides us all throughout our lives. This isn't the first time the NHS has been honoured on our coins, having had a 50 pence coin minted and circulated back in 1998 to celebrate its 50th anniversary then. It was established in 1948 by Labour Minister of Health Aniron Bevan and has become one of our most admired institutions the world over, providing health care free at the point of service for all. In 2018 and 2019, there was also a collection of commemorative 10 pence coins minted for collectors and small quantities for circulation too. Each letter of the alphabet was used to display something quintessentially British, from A for Angel of the North to Z for Zebra Crossing. The letter N was created to represent the NHS, with a stethoscope wound around the letter N. There were only 220,000 minted for circulation in 2018, and then in 2019 a mere 84,000 were created, making this amongst the rarest coins that you may find in your change. The big question around this set though has to be, where are the definitive coins? In recent years, the annual set of coins have featured a selection of the upcoming commemoratives, but also the definitive coins as well. The definitives are the non-commemorative designs, and we've had the same design on the penny through to the 50p coin since 2008, which come together to create the image of the shield of the royal arms. There has been much speculation as to why these will be released later in the year. Perhaps the Royal Mint needed to delay this element of the set to give them breathing room to complete other work which was backlogged since the death of the Queen, and the rapid release of the memorial coins to honour her life of service. Perhaps this is the start of a new way the Royal Mint will be releasing the annual sets going forwards. Some have suggested that it's because of a shortage of blanks, the metal discs used to create the coins. More excitingly though, there is some speculation that the definitive designs are going to be changed for this the first year of King Charles III's reign. To be completely honest though, we don't know the answer to this, and it's a secret the Royal Mint are carefully guarding. The prospect of a new definitive coin set is rather exciting though, and it's not without precedent to change the definitive designs following a change in monarch, although there are plenty of coin designs which remain the same following the death of a king or queen, so we can only really wait and see. If the design does change though, it would be a departure from the recent precedents, as a lot of the definitive designs used in circulation today were selected through an open public design competition. Being able to create and submit your own design, with the chance to have it minted onto our circulating coins is a rather exciting prospect, and not something we have seen since the redesign of the £1 coin back in 2017. That design was created by the then 15 year old David Pearce, who was encouraged by a teacher to enter the competition. The Royal Mint website did give a few hints when the commemorative annual coin set was released, but all we can really do is try to read between the lines and hope for an exciting outcome. 
Be sure to let me know down in the comments which of the coins in this set is your favourite design and why that is. I'd also love to know what you are hoping is going to be happening with the definitive coin designs later in the year too. There's also links down in the description of the video to the coins which we featured today. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel too. It's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins. We're also on Twitter and TikTok. We have our shop and online store and I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.